the last two years has been more challenging for investment managers than many other two-year periods in the last uh, 20 years. Uh, there's a reason why there's a lot of comparisons to 2008 drawdowns. Interestingly, there has not been the same deterioration in fundamentals in this market sell-off that we've experienced. And so it's been harder because valuation multiples have changed faster, in large part because that 10-year interest rate has finally started to, to move up, something that the Fed has struggled to, to push up in uh, previous raising cycles. And so that's been a confusing environment for investors because they're sitting here and saying, well, gosh, our, our companies are still performing, but their stock prices aren't. And how do I reconcile that? And this, is, this then gets back to a lot about how you're building your investment company. And if your investment model itself is not built to survive cycles of market prices that can be divorced from fundamentals, that's when you get into a lot of trouble. Either you know, you're taking on too much leverage or you have investors that have the ability to withdraw really quickly or investors that you know, think you're starting to do something different than, than what you promised them in the first place. So I think that's been some of the biggest uh, learnings and observations that we've seen from this environment is which investors actually built their companies to deal with circumstances like this as opposed to those that are always trying to pursue the, the shortest maximum rate of return.